Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie and I am a mum of three. And if you do already know me, you'll know that I've taken a bit of a break from YouTube. That was all because of COVID and homeschooling, but the kids are back at school now. So I am back and I'm starting with a decluttering series. My real mess, real decluttering of the whole house. Today's video is going to be the living room. So it's a living room diner and as much as it looks pretty tidy, family of five, it's not too bad. Hidden inside the cupboards is mess. So this isn't gonna be today. This is just a preview of the next video. This is my Monica cupboard and two years it's gone back. It's gone back to how it used to be. Or not as bad as it used to be, but it's, it's, it's not great. So that's going to be the next video, will be that one. So keep an eye out for that. There's more here than meets the eye, let me tell you. So let's start. So I thought if we just first of all take a look round at what the living room looks like at the moment. So nothing much has changed since the last time you would have seen it sofa, coffee table, but here used to be basically a space and then the sideboard was further along that way. Um, so it was very much living room, like a space for a divide, dining room, but you'll see in a second why I've moved it along this way, but I actually quite like it because it just unites the room, I guess. Um, so we've got plants, got way more plants than the last time you would have seen the living room. Sideboard, dining room table, bookcase, couldn't think of the word there. Um, but the reason I had to move it, one, Grace has started piano, but two, we have a dog now. So we have got this monstrosity of a cage taking up the living room. There is just nowhere else for it to be. So it's just really irritating. But, you know, this works nicely. We did have the cage here at, uh, in the beginning. And it was just like, wow, you walk in and all you could see was the cage. So I've moved the sideboard. Um, but other than that, everything is pretty much the same. I'm going to start off with the sideboard. That is where I'm going to start off because in those drawers and cupboards, it's bulging mess. So I'm going to ignore the top for now. Obviously that is, you can see what's there. We've got lovely Lego displays, but I'm going to just show you. So inside we have got, oh, here he is. Here's the dog come to sniff. Uh, we've got vases, come that way. We've got a bit of alcohol in here. Um, more vases, cups, different glasses, brandy glasses. And then in this cupboard, we have got napkins. We've got a fruit bowl thing. Uh, more glasses, lots of glasses, uh, you know, cake stands, and some more glasses, more glasses, loads of glasses. And then the drawers, we've got, I mean, who wouldn't have a butterfly net, um, a, a lazy Susan, a candle, some party plates. We have got some coasters and placemats and things, some tea towels there and some candles. We have got more tea towels, some essential oils, a pack of cards, some incense. And then, everyone has one, a junk drawer. I'm gonna leave the junk drawers till last, I think, because they're just such hard work. Come on, away, away. Um, and I'm gonna clear everything out. I shouldn't keep things for one day, but one day I want to be a brandy drinking queen. <laughs> um, so this is going to be the alcohol one, I think. So champagne for one day. <clears throat> so I get given this. Ah, oh, hmm. gosh, this is old. Not, it's not old, but it says congratulations, a parenting blogger competition winner. I don't remember, I don't remember winning that. Um, and we've got some more. I don't think I need to keep the box. Like some of these are old candles that I've just kept for lack of knowing what to do with the, I don't like to throw things. So I just get the wax out. This is a Glade one. Um, then what bloody hell do I want them for? Don't the answer. Pot, I can use that somewhere else. These are plastic things. It's a 
some of these are props that I use in our photos and things, so I don't want to get rid of those. Two, those. That's a prop. But that doesn't, it's not alcohol. So this was a candle as well. So these are, that's not, that's a prop. So I think all the candle things can go. Yeah, the cake stand can stay. Um, we do do we do use that. So the other glasses need washing. I'm going to get rid of the candle things. already like <laughs> need so many pens Point. my husband usually has a fit because he's like look at the mess you have made and it's one of the tips that I would say is never do too long if you have somewhere to be that you can't tidy up after yourself so I mean I've been going maybe 40 minutes now if I knew that in 20 minutes time I've got to go somewhere I'd stop now I'd tidy this away and I wouldn't carry on I don't have to go somewhere in 20 minutes, so I'm going to carry on. This is all going to get tidied at the end because it will all go somewhere else. Like these, I'm going to put in the kitchen in a second because they need washing these glasses. This pen situation, I'm going to spend maybe this evening while I'm watching telly. I'll make sure all the pens work. I will probably put two or three pens back in there. Some I will probably like we've got a, a local reuse recycle site i'll be like does anyone want six million pens and then some i'll put as spares in my monica cupboard so um and then yeah there's just other bits and bobs that just need putting away where they actually belong and they've just randomly been shoved in there so it looks bad but i'm not finished yet but yeah my my advice would always be if you know you only have an hour divide that up into say 40 minutes of decluttering and organizing and then the 20 minutes of tidying up after yourself otherwise very quickly you will descend into more chaos than you than when you started so um yeah my husband just won't ever see this you see next up is this box which always was the toddler box but seeing as i don't have a toddler anymore i really need to deal with it so um this is a Christmas jumper for the dog that doesn't fit him, so that can go straight away. These books, that's Lego. I have a feeling we were getting rid of and then I just put them here and never got rid of them. So that's easy, they can go straight away. And then, let's see what oh, we've got. All of this can go pretty much. There's a few bits that I've just made their way into here, like dolls, clothes, and dolls bits. But mainly, this is all toddler stuff, baby stuff. These are those nice, you know, the toddlers like bright colours and things, or babies rather. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna leave that for a second. <laughs> Classic. Um, so what I'm gonna do, this is gonna become the dog box, because currently it's all in here but it's just on display um, and it just doesn't need to be. So this stuff can go in there. That doesn't fit him 
some more Lego shouldn't be in there. That's a puppy brush, he doesn't need that. Um, and then yeah, his stuff comes kind of live in there instead of on the roof of it. Um, actually hides all his things away. I'm sick of his stuff, I'll be honest. He's got more toys everywhere else that could go in there as well. So, good. Right, now that. Some of this he'll still use. up this which is just full of stuff that I hide <laughs> basically um, so. that's all I'm gonna put back in is the hair stuff and some baby wipes um, everything else either needs to go in the bin or like the face paint I think can live in the sideboard now um, but otherwise this can just be space mm -hmm. 